Right, here we are, having a look at the QGX USB 3 link cable. Now this is important, this, because I wasn't going to bother looking at this link cable. The problem with a lot of link cables is that they don't fully charge the Quest whilst you're using it. They just kind of slowly allow the Quest to discharge, extending the battery life greatly, but not allowing you to play for a long, long time. So it does say on here, importance here. When the battery is more than about 78%, the current input is slowed down within a safe range and the battery drops 0-2% every half an hour until about 78%. So 0-2% every half an hour, let's assume 4% an hour, 20%, that's five hours it would take roughly to get from 100 down to 78. So that's, also, that's already a lot of time. When the battery is less than about 78%, the current input is strengthened to achieve a steady increase of 0-3% every half an hour while playing. It achieves an increase of about 15% every half an hour when not running a game. So, this means if you do plug your quest in and it's lower than 78%, it'll charge it. If it's above that, it'll gradually go down to 78%. So, generally, it's going to stay at 78%. What's this say? Fast charging whilst playing games is unfriendly to the battery and has potential security threat to players. So, so, therefore, this cable was designed to not support fast charging whilst playing, but could guarantee the enough power whilst playing. So that's important. We want to be able to play a game that will last forever. There are a few PC VR games that you would actually want to play for a long, long time. For example, Skyrim, things like that. You could spend hours in there. And with games coming out now that people might want to play for a long time, such as Zenith, it's very important if you're using a link cable that you can play for a long time. So let's have a look at the actual cable itself. Let's undo this. I'm going to give this to my cat because she loves these. Would you like this? There you go. Oh yes. Right. Nice little bit of Velcro there to keep it tidy. Oh okay. And it's got... It's got that. Why has it got a USB-C port on it? So it's USB-A to go your computer to USB-C for your Quest with a nice 90 degree. Feels nice, it's rubbery, which is fine, but it's nice and thick. It's very long, which you need. What is the length of it? So it's USB-3, compatible for Oculus Quest, blah, 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 blah. Does it not say the length? It's got to say the length. Looks to be about five meters. It says MT005, so it's probably five meters. If you get a, if you get a link over, you need it at least five meters. Do you know what that's for? Anyway, I'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Right, got the Quest 2, got the link cable. I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna unplug this one. Oh, I should put that. I'll just let it hang. Um, I usually plug it in like the wrong way when I uh, play this, so it kind of goes towards the computer. In, in we go. Allow access to data. Yes, but that's not really what I want to do. Doop, doop, doop. Right, it says it's charging. Enable Oculus Link. Well, that was a bit of an annoying test. Um, it took a while to get working. Eventually I got there. Um, the battery went down. It wasn't going up. I started on 28%. Uh, it was plugged into a USB uh, 3 connector. Battery gradually went down. Maybe that's something to do with my computer. Maybe it's in a connector that doesn't supply enough electricity. Don't know. But um, I suppose I'll try again. So basically I was being a bit dense. Um, when you plug it in as a normal link cable, it works as a normal link cable and it will give you an extra two to three hours of power on top of your uh, quest time. But 
if it's plugged in and into this you plug and that's a USB C socket so with one hand I plug that in now with that extra power now it will last unlimited if you are in the market for a link cable that will allow your quest to let you play forever then I do recommend this it's fairly decent it's not too expensive $30 30 pounds I'm not sure what it costs in England but it's not going to be that much because it's only $30 in America but uh, it's pretty good so um, yeah thumbs up and that's about it <laughs> if you found that video useful don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you want to get more quest or tech content until next time thanks for watching See ya.